Hey everybody, what's up? It's Epic 2 Apps Reviewer here, and in this video, I will be showing you the top free applications for the Mac of the year 2011. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, for the first app, we have an application called Alfred. Alfred will sit at the very top of your bar menu, and with Alfred, it's a nice alternative of Spotlight, which you have tons of different features. And what Alfred does is, depending on, on what keys you have it to activate on, I have it on double tapping command. So as I double tap it, Alfred will launch and it's a really nice, pretty much spotlight as, but faster. For example, I want to go to Safari, so I'll go ahead and search it up. As you can see, when I just typed in a S A F Safari automatically comes up with the application as well as the folder. So. Alfred is a really nice alternative to, of Spotlight to find anything on your Mac, simple and easy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go to, on to the next application. For the next application, we have an application called Mixtab. And what Mixtab allows you to do is to have all of your different types of news and different types of software all in one place, going from cars to fashion to cooking to Apple to tech and to Android, all the different types. So right here, when you go to tab gallery, you have the ability to choose from all the different types of categories that you want to your liking. And all you have to do is subscribe to it. For example, I want to subscribe to Space News, so I just subscribe to it. And on my homepage, I will have it right, right here. So it's all of your news in one place. And once you click on it, you could look at the all the different types of stories all in one place from all different categories so mixtab is a really nice app with all of your different types of news so without further ado let's go ahead and go to the next application okay guys for the next application we have an application called caffeine and once you download caffeine it will sit at the very top of your bar menu so this is a really light app and as you can see here once we go to the preferences it says welcome to caffeine and you have all of these different types of features and it's really nice and it pretty much speaks for itself and as you can see here it speaks for itself it, it says prevent your mac from going to sleep and displaying the screensaver so what so that's pretty much what it does so you know when it's on once you click it and you see a little cop, copy coffee pot running so it it will prevent your mac from going to sleep and dim while you're watching a movie or something so it's a really light app so go ahead and check it out and it's really useful so you just click it and when you unclick it it will go to sleep when when it wants to now and once you click it it will not so that's a really nice app so let's go ahead and go to the next application okay guys so for the next application we have an application called wallpaper wizard light and once you launch this app you have this simple little small screen and all you have to do is click next wallpaper to see over thousands of high definition wallpapers and even though this is a light version it contains a lot of a, a thousands of high definition wallpapers so let me go ahead and change desktops and right here let's just go ahead and just click click on next wallpaper so you just pretty much click on it and you will find random pictures from cars to landscape to just beautiful different types of high definition wallpaper so let me move this a little bit out of the way and once you come to find one that you like a lot so let's go ahead and look at a few more so as you can see some really really nice high definition wallpapers from animals to cars to landscapes so a really nice application so once you find one you like you can simply go ahead and exit the app so this is wallpaper wizard light and it's a really nice app with lots of different wallpapers for your Mac. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go to the last and final application. Okay guys, so for the final application, we have an application called Swacky. And Swacky is a very unique weather app. So Swacky is whether you need a sweater, a jacket, or a coat. And as you can see here, I have it set for Los Angeles, California. And you have you, it'll show the today's high and what it feels like, the actual temperature. And once again, what it feels like, you have the today's forecast, the current conditions, the tonight's forecast, as well as the tomorrow's forecast. And this is a very unique weather app, as you can see here on today's forecast, as of October 28th, 2011 for Los Angeles, California. 
you will you will need a sun hat, some light clothing, sun for the man, some sunglasses um, as well, and some light clothing for tonight. You will need some for the ladies, some light sleeping tea, and some comfy PJs for the men for tonight. And as you can see, partly cloudy. And you have the tomorrow's forecast. As you can see, a sun has some light clothing and some sandals, so a visor, and some light slacks. As you can see, very warm with sun sunshine. So it it is a really nice. I have to give you some tips. And scrolling down, you find the 14-hour outlook, as well as a seven-day outlook. And at the very bottom, you find four very nice, unique radars. You find the Los Angeles radar. You find the California radar. Well, south of California. You find the regional radar. As well as you find the national satellite. So down here at the location, you can set different locations to where you want to. And that's for Los Angeles. So this is a really nice weather app, guys. It gives you lots of tips and and pretty much really nice weather overall so this these were the top the top free web um mac applications for the year 2011 okay guys so thanks for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below which was your favorite app so i try to choose different categories such as weather wallpapers as you can tell by the video not to just do one simple category so i hope you enjoyed all of all of these applications they are all free from the mac application store go ahead guys and if you haven't go ahead and subscribe right here and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this has been ipad 2 apps reviewer and i really hope you enjoyed this video so i will see you on the next app um ios video so in case you are wondering I, d I did use ScreenFlow to record this video and edit so thank you guys for watching this has been ipad 2 apps reviewer and i will see you in the next video bye